Hi, I'm Natasha Corrett from Honestly Healthy and I am going to be showing you how to make a very quick and simple, delicious butternut curry. In this recipe, we have fenugreek, ginger, coriander, fennel seeds, coconut milk, vegetable powder, spring onions, broccoli, fresh coriander, tomatoes, butternut squash, garlic, ginger, and onion. The first thing we're gonna do is chop our onion, garlic, and ginger, put it into the pan with a little bit of oil and all of our spices. It's important to fry those spices off because they can become sort of that rancid, very acidic taste if you don't cook them off quickly. <laughs> this is how we want it to look. So the onions and the garlic have just kind of cooked off. They're nice and soft. Now we're gonna add our coconut milk, careful, because it can spurt everywhere. So we're gonna turn the temperature back up because we want it to get to a nice sort of simmer. And that is when we're gonna add in our butternut squash. If you're hungry, you wanna cut it really small because then it won't take very long to cook. So I'm also gonna add in some tomatoes. This is just gonna give a really lovely sweet flavor to our curry. And last but not least, is my vegetable stock. Now this is my secret ingredient. It gives it a little hidden depth. As you can see, the sauce has thickened. It's become a sort of browny, pinky color, and that's because the tomatoes have broken down and they have created this wonderful flavor throughout the sauce. As you keep cooking it, it will break down further and further. The great thing about this curry is you can kind of use any ingredients once you've got that base flavor. We are gonna use broccoli, and I found some lovely tender stem, but the trick with this to make sure they cook at the same time is you put a slice down the middle of the stalk, because the stalk is gonna cook the same as the top. So we're gonna add our greens. Next up, I'm gonna add some spring onions just for a little bit of freshness. And the last little element to this dish is some beautiful, fresh coriander and then sprinkled all over the top. Season with a little bit of salt and we're ready to serve. And that is my very delicious, quick and simple, butternut squash curry.